Sales Demonstration Overview in Acumatica 2020 R2. Acumatica provides a sales demonstration account so you can provide the features in a ready-to-use format uh, to demonstrate for clients. Out of the box, you get a company that has, within an instance, a single tenant but multiple companies. Each company, one and two, has two branches, and you can see they've set up with balancing or no balancing. In addition, we keep a separate instance that has a base currency of euros so that we can use that for consolidation. The sales demonstration data is updated every month. We provide new transactions so that you always have a fresh snapshot to work with. Also, every time we do an update from one build to the next, we do an update and post it to the portal. And each major release, we add the new features so you can easily demonstrate them. There are certain situations where you need to acquire a license. So when we have external features, such as route optimization, uh, push notifications, bank feeds, expense receipts, and AP document creation, you need to use your not for resale license to request that these uh, features be added to it. Simply create a pre-sales request support case to do that. The other time you might need a license is if you have more than two connections to your sales demonstration database. Uh, for example, if you're using Device Hub or something else or uh, external uh, API calls, uh, you might need an actual license to get the dip more than two users to access it at the same time. To install sales demonstration data, there's two mechanisms. Uh, first, you can go to the portal. This is the recommended way, and you download an up-to-date snapshot. Uh, the other way you can do it is through the ERP configuration wizard. Uh, you can do this. The problem with installing it this way is that the sales demonstration data is typically one to two months and a few features behind. So if you try things, for example, in 2020 R2, uh, you'll find that the manufacturing data hasn't been loaded into that yet. Now, one of the benefits of what we've done in the past release is that everything, including manufacturing, construction, and commerce, are now part of the core system. So what does that mean to you as a demoer? Prior to 2020 R1, you had to install Acumatica, then you needed to install whatever customizations you needed to show. Since they were customizations, you could only install one snapshot, and the snapshot may contain construction data or manufacturing data or even commerce data, but not all of them. Uh, what this means is that you had to manually configure the other pieces to get an end-to-end -end workflow. In 2020 R2 and beyond, all you have to do is install the snapshot that contains all the data and go enable the features that you need. So let's go take a, what, a look at what that would look like. I'm going to switch over to an actual demonstration site. This is how it looks out of the box. There's a simplified menu here. You can see there's several items here, but there's nothing in terms of manufacturing, construction, even field service that you used to have. To go get those, you have to go enable, disable features, and turn them on. So let's go do field service first, since that used to be included by default. You simply go to service management. Uh, if you want equipment management, you can do that as well. Uh, while I'm here, I'm going to go grab Commerce, and you hit Enable. The system will now display additional information over here. So you'll see the Equipment and Services widgets are now available, uh, along with a full set of features. If you go into here and click, for example, Appointments, you'll see that there's many demonstration appointments that are available to immediately start working with. All right, now let's go back and look at Manufacturing. So once again, we'll modify what we have. Scroll to the bottom and enable the different manufacturing modules that we want. Uh, as soon as I hit enable, we now have the bill materials, production orders, material requirements, planning, and all the other modules activated with actual live data that you can demonstrate. With commerce, it's a little more complicated because you have to obtain a big commerce or a Shopify account in order to show that. Last but not least, let's show construction. Construction. One note with construction, there's a document that explains some of the other activities you have to undertake in order to do a proper construction demonstration that will also be made available on the partner portal. So this will allow you to do a complete end-to-end -end demonstration involving projects, construction, manufacturing, and everything else with inside Acumatica. Thanks for listening. Happy demoing with Acumatica 2020 R2.